Finally, you arrive at the church Florian described. As you approach, an ominous aura surrounds you. You get the sense that your enemy is close at hand. How strange. This uneasy feeling seems so real. How did they manage that? Now, it is time for the final battle. Let's go! Florian, wait. What's wrong? I think you should wait outside. You've already been corrupted by the Devorator once. It could easily re-enter your mind and take control of your body. I don't think it's a good idea for you to be this close. If it corrupts you again, it's possible you might take on a new form entirely. That's exactly why I have to go. Why I should be at the very front. Uh, you mean... Yes. I intend to lure it into my body. That's too risky. If things get out of hand, I might have to kill you. Do you understand how dangerous this is? I understand, but if I do this, you'll have a clear and visible target. The Devorator will have a hard time passing up a chance to enter a body it knows how to control. You won't have to worry about any of your friends being taken over. <sighs> You're not like me, Miss Clorand. You're a just and powerful Marachose hunter. The monster broke free due to my error. It's only right that I shoulder the responsibility for its destruction. This is... something that I have to do. Consider it a duel to restore my honor. My only request is that you give it your all. I understand. Then, as a champion duelist, I hereby accept your request for a duel, and extend to you my most sincere regards. Thank you. The battle is now upon us. Let the Devorator once again tremble under the blade of the Marachose Hunters. is not invincible. You hold the treasure. The power to defeat it in your own two hands. The treasure? You mean... The names! It's the Marachose Hunter's names! How are we supposed to... You forget, Paimon? There's still one skill we saved until the very end. Hunters fight not for fame, but to aid the people whenever they are summoned. Walter the Marachose Hunter, master of a thousand tricks, Executioner of the Phantom Hunters! I call for aid! <sighs> Est, the Marshal Say Hunter, inheritor of Cassiodor's will, judge of the Shadow Hunters! Answer my call! Petronia, protector of justice and order, the hunter I respect the most. Thank you for saving my friend, the best one I'll ever know. Please, lend us your strength! We have come 
to answer your summons. And so, the monsters were eradicated, and the sorcerer was defeated. Peace soon returned to the capital. Those in the court, manipulated by the sorcerer, also recognized the errors of their ways. Some remembered the names of the heroes who saved their kingdom, but others simply continued their lives none the wiser. Such is the story of the Marachose Hunters, they pursue the phantoms in the darkness and exterminate all who pose a threat. They will always protect the city and those within it, even should all memory of their accomplishments be forgotten by the very people they serve. <sighs> I am assuming we've finally reached the end of the script. Yes, you've reached one of the better endings. It's a pretty solid story overall. I thought it was just an ordinary adventure at first, but the further we got into it, the more impressed I became with the production and the plot. That final battle especially! All the effects were super realistic. Oh, right. Yeah. Totally. Ah, <laughs> huh. oh, <laughs> that's a really good point. I never expected the weapons we picked up from that vault would have that kind of effect. Yeah, mine nearly scared the daylights out of me when it started glowing. I took a good look at it after we got out, but I don't think it ever lit up again. Oh, we should probably give these props back, right? I'll just leave mine here. Did you have a good time? Of course. Let me know if another script like this comes around. <laughs> sure, no problem. Then I'll head back for now. I think I need some time to fully digest everything that just happened. Once Mr. Florian is awake, please pass on my regards to him. He must be extremely exhausted to have passed out cold like that. You're right. He's had a lot to deal with. Well, see you all some other time. Toodaloo! Okay, so, uh, can I ask now? I think it should be fine, yeah. What in the world was going on back there? Uh, uh so you saw through all of that? <laughs> that time in the cave when you told us to close our eyes? It'd be weirder if we didn't notice anything. I was dying of curiosity the entire time. I mean, you did a pretty bang-up job of pretending nothing had gone wrong. Farina actually looked like she thought all of it was planned. Guess none of us wanted to be the one to break the illusion. I... Uh, what are you all talking about? Oh, wait. Don't tell me Paimon never... No, oh, this is all my fault. It's not too late to cover your ears. Here, Paimon, I'll do it for you. A bit late for that, don't you think? Uh, you're saying everything that happened back there wasn't actually part of the script? It's probably more accurate to say this was never a real scripted story to begin with. What? <sighs> so loud. <sighs> My head... No shaking, please! Oh, my head. Did, did Paimon just hear that right? You guys made up that whole last part on the spot? It's not nice to lie to people, but Paimon's gotta admit that was a really good story, Florian. Oh, a nice improvisation, Florian! Yeah, it was like watching a magician improvise a spectacular magic trick after forgetting an important prop. If Paimon knew something was wrong with that vault, she would have floated straight in the opposite direction. Everything was under control. 
as if you've ever described a situation as being out of control. <laughs> I'm pretty sure any situation you consider to be easy to handle would scare a reasonable person half to death. Guess I'm just used to it. Uh, you must run into a lot of unexpected situations then. That explains why you're so good at coming up with things on the spot. As for you, Florian... <sighs> I know there's no excuse for what I did. I'll turn myself into the guards at once, confess my crimes, and accept any punishment that comes my way. I would say you've already suffered more than enough. Uh, what? You may have been blinded by fame and fortune in the beginning, but your actions during the final battle had proven you to be a true Marishose hunter. <sighs> You'll be far more used to the city above ground than below. Your job as a hunter is more important. But... Of course, you'll still need to take the keys and pay a personal visit to the two hunters you wronged. Prepare to accept any terms they give you as well. Uh, yes, of course. As far as I'm concerned, though, your showing in the duel was enough to prove your honor. <sighs> then I'll do exactly as you said. I... I'll go return those two keys right now. Thank you so much, everyone. I'll do my best to prove myself worthy of the second chance you've given me. I swear this on my name and honor as a Mara Shosei hunter. Until we meet again, everyone. Speaking of Mara Shosei hunters, what should we do about the treasure in that cave? Leave it be. Are you sure? We could show it to people, make it so that the hunters are remembered. Don't you want that? No. Every name on that tablet made the same choice. All hunters know what the path entails. I am no exception. My identity as a Mara Shosei hunter is not something I need people to remember. I wish only to be recognized as a champion duelist. Nothing more. That's certainly very different from the path of a magician. Still, I admire your decision. Wait, Pana just remembered something. If there were no special effects involved, why did our weapons begin to glow during the battle? That's because the Mara Shosei hunters of ages past would often imbue their weapons with special enchantments to suppress the monsters. Whenever a monster was nearby, their weapons would start to glow. Oh, so that's why they had an effect on that guy near the end. I really thought the summons were doing all the work. Well, I'm sure the summons were a part of it too. Oh? How so? This particular devorator probably hailed from the same era as the hunters we saw in the room. The names you recited all belonged to the bravest hunters. Countless monsters fell to their blades. That's likely why the Devorator visibly reacted when you said them out loud. So the names held the power all along! Uh... Navia... Everything you said during your summon... Huh? Oh! <laughs> uh, I... <laughs> um... I meant what I said. I mean, it was true to my character, so, yeah, I'm glad you heard it. Just don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> it's embarrassing. I really appreciated those words. <laughs> all right, all right. Don't get all sentimental on me. Uh, anyway, let's not talk about that anymore. I'm going to go on ahead. Don't fall too far behind now. I should probably head back as well. This story was truly incredible. I might have to spend the whole night telling my siblings all about it. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. <laughs> Traveler. Traveler. Should your name and deeds be forgotten, what do you think the significance of your journey will be? I suppose the significance would be the journey itself and the world we helped create. 
there's still value in the time I shared with everyone here, in the things we were able to accomplish, even if no one remembers them. A great answer. I'll remember it. Me? <laughs> the Mara Shosei Hunter says nothing in response to that question. Perhaps her answer lies in her silence. An unspoken vow left to echo through the night. The path she walks needs no explanation. 